Yeah, they're uh, yeah they got good great players. So uh, they've uh, they've recruited well. They got good kids. You know, make a lot of plays. I think their quarterback is much improved. Uh, throws the ball well. He'll extend plays on you. Uh, you know, he could be a threat in a run game as well. So you know, we got to prepare for all of it. Where do you see his biggest you know, deep balls right now. I mean, he's uh, he's throwing very accurate right now down the field. Uh, guys are making plays for him, but he's uh, he's putting the ball in the right spots and you know keeping it out of harm's way. So he's uh, he's doing a really good job. It seemed like the receivers made some really good catches for him too. You know, yeah, 50 balls and other than that, too, they just made good catches for him. Yeah, they're uh, they're like I said, they're good players. They uh, you know they're highly recruited kids that have made a lot of plays and been in big games before. So this is going to be nothing new for them. Thoughts on Will Shipley and the way he's been able to run this ball? Yeah, he uh, he runs hard. You know, again, we, we know a lot about Will, and Will's going to be motivated to, you know, play his best against us. So, you know, he scored a touchdown against us last year, had some nice runs. So we've got to wrap him up. He runs hard, runs strong. So uh, he's, he's going to be a handful as well. I know offenses have to game plan for the weather, but do, does defense as well have to maybe game plan for some, some crazy weather out there? Nah, let it get as nasty as it can. So <laughs> our guys will like that. But no, nah, it's we obviously we have to you know, we have to keep a great functional base. Uh, we can't be falling around, and especially with the quarterback run game, if it gets nasty and wet, I'm sure they're going to use him a bunch. So we have to be able to uh, you know get an extra guy in the box, whatever we need to do to stop it. How much do you guys? As a, as a group, you held them to 14 points in regulation last uh, year, that's, and then this year they just look like a different offense. Yeah, we, kinda... we don't talk about last year. Last year was last year. It's time to move on. Uh, they're explosive. We know it. Uh, we got to have our A game and, and go play hard and you know play assignment football, make sure everybody's on the same page and, and tackle well. That's the key for us. Seems like he was getting good protection too back there. I guess there were a couple pass plays where like he had four or five seconds to try to get out of receiver. Yeah, he uh, yeah, and that offensive line's good. Uh, you know, they're much improved as well. Uh, they're not getting to him a lot. So, you know, we're again, they're a good football team. They're ranked fifth in the country for a reason. All right, sorry, against so many veteran players on that side of the ball too for you guys. How, how important will that be in a game like this? Oh, very important. Our, our guys, have uh, they've played in big games as well, so our guys are going to be ready. Uh, you know, playing a great opponent, national audience. You know, this is why you come to NC State to play in these type of games. They got a new coordinator this year. Is there much difference between last year and what they're not, not really. Uh, you know, they, they have a few wrinkles in the run game that they didn't have a year ago, but uh, most uh, – most of their offense has stayed the same. Obviously, that's got uh, Coach Sweeney's fingerprints on it as well. So, yeah. they're using a tight end more this year. Than they yeah, they, they used him a bunch a year ago. But uh, you know, those guys are very skilled down in the red zone. We have to make sure we uh, we have people on them and bodying them up because they'll just go up and yeah, you know, they're six 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 seven guys. So they're they're big. And how how do you guys practice? They, they good good them? practice. Uh, guys are locked in, flying around. Brought a lot of juice today. So. You know, they, again, they're ready to play in a big game. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to watch them play. What's the major DJ losing all that weight from last year, 20, 30 pounds? Has he seen quicker? Just yeah, he, quicker? yeah, he's moving around. I mean, he was quick last year, too. You know, he's a, he's a big kid that can run. He's very athletic. Uh, Uses his feet to escape and get out of some things. And uh, he can hurt you with that. Uh, last year, their second touchdown, he, that's, he busted a 40-yard run on us. Imagine a two-point play made the other day on one leg. Call yeah. Your attention. Yeah, you got to wrap him up. He's uh, he's done it. He did it to Georgia Tech. It was a one-possession game. Uh, Georgia Tech had him sacked, spun him around, and somehow he found Shipley and flipped it to him, and you know, gained him about 25. So he's uh, he's a playmaker, and you know, it's going to be a challenge. But you know, again, I'm excited to watch our kids play. At West Virginia, and Coach Dorn talked this week about enjoying the moment. What are some of the things that you talk with the guys? Yeah, you know, stay focused. Is you know what we have to do is just be the best us we can be. We don't need an out of body experience, and uh, you know we don't need to turn into superheroes or try to. We just got to do our job and practice the right way and earn the victory to today, tomorrow, uh, the next day, and, and keep preparing. And we know what we've got, know what we're facing, and, and you know we just have to be our best.